Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're back at Downtown Disney. Honestly, I wasn't planning on filming today, but there's just so much info that I'd like to share with you guys. First of all, today is cast member preview. So I actually did a live stream earlier about that. I showed like the, the madness, the lines, and everybody going through the gates. So, but currently this is how the lines look for Disneyland. Check that out. As you guys can see, everybody already went in. So not too busy out here right now, but you guys should have seen it earlier. If you guys want to check out the live stream, it's the video before this one. Also, look, it looks like the Disneyland Resort tickets, lost and found, and group sales. Looks like that's currently open. They have one window open right now. I'm not sure if this is gonna be open like from now on or if it's just today or for just the cast member preview days, which is today to uh, I think Thursday. But currently it is open as well as the lockers. So like I showed you guys the other day, they put distancing markers over here and the like barrier that was here is no longer here. So you can actually walk in and pull out your credit card or your bank card and you can actually rent a locker. It looks like the rates are $7 to rent a small locker and then to rent like a, lo a larger locker, it looks like it'll be $10. So the smaller one fits one backpack and the other one can fit up to two. And if you guys ever find these lockers to be super busy, the uh, the other lockers near Disney California Adventure, those are open as well. So those are located like on the, I guess if you're looking forward at it, it's the left side of DCA. You'll see it next to the restrooms. So one thing to note, park hopping doesn't start until 1 p.m. on the dot. This line was not moving at all, it was standing still and they did not budge until exactly 1 p.m. And now you can see that people are starting to go through the turnstiles and stuff, but yeah, just so you guys know, when, uh, when the park reopens, 1 p.m. you can park hop if you have a park hopper. So if you're starting your day at DCA, you can leave at one and then hope to get a chance to come over here to, Dis uh, to Disneyland. And just like that, the line is completely gone. Everybody already got inside of the park. I cannot wait to finally go in there. We just have like, what, three more days ago? So over here at the Strollers and Wheelchair Rentals, there's a little bit of an update as far as prices. So it looks like they raised the electric convenience vehicle from $70 to $80, as you guys can see. And then the wheelchair rentals went from $32 to $35. And then a single stroller went from $15 to $18. So the prices did change just a little bit. But at least now you guys know what to expect when you guys do come here. If you guys do need a wheelchair or a stroller, these are the current prices for those. All right guys, so today's video is gonna be very short. Uh, I'm very short on time today, so I gotta go, but I'll definitely film another video tomorrow. But I wanna end the video on the topic of parking because this Friday, April 30th, the rate for symbol lot is gonna change. So I actually have it here on my phone, it's a little dark, but uh, it says beginning April 30th, the first hour of parking costs $10. Uh, validations apply after the first hour paid parking. Uh, enjoy an additional three hours of same day parking with a $20 minimum purchase and validation from any downtown Disney location or up to five additional hours from same day parking with validation from any downtown Disney table service restaurant. And then if you go beyond that, it's $14 uh, every additional hour charged in 30 minute increments with a minimum of $7. And then if you lose your ticket or if you're here all day, then you have to pay $60 to $6. So, dang, parking is about to get pretty expensive because for four hours, it's like $30. So at that point, you might as well just park at Mickey and Friends because if you're going to spend uh, $30 in just four hours, I'd, I'd just go to Mickey and Friends and pay $25 and you're there the whole day. But there's one more alternative you can also do. Once again, thank you to Mice Chat. He actually, uh, I don't know, he got some type of deal with the Anaheim Hotel. And uh, starting May 1st to July 31st, 2021, Parking will now be, uh, for, so for Monday through Thursday, short-term parking will be $10. So that, that's uh, four hours or less. If you're gonna be there the whole day, Monday through Thursday, it'll be $15. And then Friday through Sunday, uh, short-term parking is $15, four hours or less. And then all-day parking is $20 based upon availability. Uh, you do have to show this voucher to the front desk. So I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen. That way you guys can screenshot it or, or maybe I'll post it on my Instagram too later on and you guys can screenshot it from there. But. Uh, at least now we have another alternative to Disney's parking and you can park at Anaheim Hotel with these rates. But, but just keep in mind that the Anaheim Hotel, the, the rates change depending on like the day. So Monday through Thursday is a little bit cheaper. Friday through Sunday is gonna be a little bit more expensive, but at least it's cheaper than what Disney's charging. And honestly, I, and, and honestly it's a lot closer parking at Anaheim Hotel than parking at the, at the structure over here at Mickey and Friends. 
But anyways, I think I'm in the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.